Hey, orange one here. So we got a interesting start to this episode. We are currently wielding our Jane. We have some adrenaline and we are being chased by some fairly nasty zombies. Ones that I would rather not be meleeing as a large group right now. So I think I'm just going to get some cover between us and them. Yeah, in particular that shocker brute is of concern to me. I'm not sure if he's going to see our friend in the car. But I do think that it is pertinent that we take him out. Okay, I am going to blast a couple of these guys. Where's that shocker? Um, stop aiming, yes, maybe. Maybe just take aim at this dude up here. Yeah, this guy right here. Let's just take out the ones that are close to us for a second. Actually, no, hold on. Get your mask on. Then shoot that dude. Because, yeah, it's going to happen. And then, Shocker Brute, I think he's still coming towards me, right? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, stop, stop running, you can go ahead and just walk a little bit. This guy's gonna throw some lightning our way real soon. I think we got it under control as long as I take another shot before he throws the lightning. Okay, this is getting a little close. He's about Yeah, that's what I thought. Stop aiming. Yep. This is gonna hurt. Okay. Get the sensory dulling on. Because yeah. We're about to get electrocuted. Not really a whole lot that we could do there. Uh I'd just take a step back. More. I did hit him. And I'm gonna go for another one. Okay, there we go, he's down. Can I please get line of sight on? Uh, I, I knew he was, a, he was about to do it again. Just trying to see him. We're about to get shocked again. I'm just gonna take a shot if I've got a decent chance of hitting. Okay, we only did 9 damage. That was my fault. He's, he can't shock us for another little while, so we're okay. He's down. Okay. Shocker is down. I think I'm feeling comfortable enough to switch to the bolt driver. Just oh, 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 hold on. What was that? Excuse me? That not cool. Yeah, I don't care about you. I care about the shocker that's right behind you. Truth be told, you are not a concern of mine. We got really badly hurt all of a sudden. A whole lot. Yeah, luckily though the bolt driver is gonna lay down a lot of damage on you pretty quickly. But not enough apparently. Uh, what do I want to use next? And we have a little shotgun. Activate. Just go ahead and grab that. Oh, is he attacking the scientist? I think he's attacking the scientist. Get a little closer. I'm just gonna get a guaranteed shot, and it should kill him. There we go. Can I take off that mask now? Oh my god. Take off the mask. Thinking of janing the rest of them. Yeah, let's get the Jane out. Yeah, put the other one back in the back poster. So I can handle a couple other zombies. I'm gonna stay right by my gun though. I'm not walking towards them. 
that almost called for the syringe of adrenaline that we just made, but oh man. Do I want to just smash them so that they're out of the fight for good? Yeah, let's uh, smash a couple of these guys. We got a couple more coming our way. Nothing we can't handle. I'm going to turn off the sensory dulling just to save on power a little bit. Again, staying near our gun, I think, is a good idea. Okay, I think this has convinced me that we really need to up our mutagen game. Because I should not be having this much difficulty with just a couple zombies. Uh, rock, zombie, I'm gonna try and lead you away from the gun. Okay, come over here, you're fine. I'd like to just lead you away from that so I can go get my gun and then take care of you. I just run past you, kill your friend, and because we've got a joint servos, we've got a nice advantage here. Where is it? It's right there. Yep, go ahead, put that way. And he's down. We're gonna go ahead and get our bolt driver there. Making sure that we're all set. Yeah, I think that um, we got a couple more that might be coming our way. Gonna take care of that. Got another croc dude. Another couple croc dudes. Okay, I'm just gonna use the gun. Just not feeling. Doing melee with those dudes. Not with our health the way it is. We, we essentially just need to take it easy for a little bit. Yeah, and you can go ahead and put the gun over your shoulder. We're gonna need to make sure we got all these zombies down for good, and while we're at it, we might as well harvest those shockers. Uh, corrosive zombie. I'll just wait a minute. My breath. Is, oh, it's not so annoying. Yeah, he's gonna be trying to shoot me with his corrosive stuff. Um, dog. Not gonna happen, not today. Corrosive zombie. Go, taken out from a distance. We did just a, a couple zombies our way though. We do need to be aware of that. We do have one that's right here. Okay, let's get the Jane out. Uh, the tough ones, they can't throw me, can they? I don't think they can. We're about to find out. The brutes, they can. They can definitely throw me. Uh, go ahead and just drop the Jane. And this should kill him. There we go. And then wield the Jane. Drop the gun. Oh no, we're disoriented. Luckily it wasn't too disorienting. Okay. Yeah, I think that we got this under control. Definitely went a little south there all of a sudden with those shockers. I was glad that I uh, took some time to collect my thoughts. I, I didn't just rush things because I was tempted to do that. That's the thing when you get into those situations in this game, if you just take your time to think and plan ahead, you're usually fine. And now we've cleared out a large amount of houses in the surrounding area, I think we could do a little first aid and then look for that bleach. And then that would be a really good step in the right direction for us. Okay, we can handle just a couple regular zombies. You know, I was actually also thinking of practicing my white tiger technique a little bit. I think I'll try and uh, find a zombie child that we can do that with. Because then it's like totally safe and fine. 
But yeah, this boomer's just gonna bit on us and we're gonna probably get hit. No, we didn't actually. Okay. I think that that's good now. Could be. I think that we're good. Just want to make sure they're taking care of everything. This guy's probably gonna hurt me. Yeah. Just get out of the grab and take him out. Okay, good. Alright. Let's do a little first aid. Slash gear repair. I think that would be an appropriate time for us to do that. And while we're doing so, how are you doing? Horse is actually doing just fine. It needs a splint. I mean, you've got a splint on, so you should be okay. Okay, let's have a look. I think I've got my welder in here somewhere because we gotta use that on. Uh, well, we gotta reload it first and then we gotta use that on our Jane, I think. Yep. Yeah. I'd like it reinforced, but I don't think you can reinforce that anymore. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Can't really reinforce much. Okay, so the Jane's repaired. We should have our kits around here somewhere. Actually, let's do, get one of the first aid kits. Because I'm going to need to use basically everything that's inside that anyways. Antiseptic bandages. Um, take that. I don't think I'm going to take the aspirin though. So, actually, we already had some on us. Okay, uh, A and then Q. That works nicely. I love it when this game gives you keys right next to each other like that. And you could always hot, like, do the hot keys. Which I do like doing, but sometimes when I update, it, like, doesn't save it. And so it's kind of annoying like that. Okay, that bottle's all used up. Let's see, what about... Apple tea. Kind of annoying, but it's not too bad. Let's just bandage everything. We'll just try and watch those uh, fights. Try and avoid them. And there might be some zombies coming our way, because we did uh, we just kill a whole, a whole lot of them. And we made a fair amount of noise doing so. Yeah, go ahead and just reload anything and everything that you can. Uh, I'm getting that magazine back in there. Cool. I was thinking we could just get the coil gun out and be blasting things with that. Why don't we do that? That's a... Uh, sorry, bolt driver. I think we're going to leave you in the car for a little bit. And we're going to get the coil gun back. So we'll have the coil gun. And we have the flechette rounds, but I think having the UPS that we can just like eat the battery power and then just kind of continuously do that. So I think we'll try and use that as our ranged weapon for now. We'll keep the gun on us. We'll have that wielded. And then back holster, go ahead, that. And then extra large holster. Oh, hold on. And then, okay, so what if we do that? Will that take the shotgun? No, it will not. It has to take the bolt driver. Annoying. What if I had the coil gun instead of the shotgun? Let's. Do that for a little bit. Of the coil gun instead of the shotgun. And so we do actually need our bolt driver and we'll dump shotgun. Our bolts must be out there then somewhere because we did we use them on things. Let's go ahead and get our bolts back. Uh ba -ba -ba. maybe look at for a battery. Wooden bolts, yeah, there's a couple up here, I think. 
Okay, we do have an enemy coming towards us. Get the Jane out. Just a solo zombie. It's just some fatty. Just mutagen, mutagen just walking around, you know. Okay, that one we shot a number of times. It looks like we can reload it all the way. Good. Very nice. I do I do like having that as a nice silent um, option for us in these scenarios. We do have the opportunity right now to try and get some CBMs from the Shockers. Yeah, we should probably do that before we forget. Go ahead and get this one in the car. Look at our skeleton and how easy it makes it to move. Maybe we can turn the joint servos off because we don't need that. Really, you know? Okay, drop that and then where's our exacto knife? There we go. Did I make a scalpel? I'm just curious. No. Not. Okay. Um dissect you. Could be a large amount of zombies that are suddenly upon us, and if that's the case, we'll just move the car. Ignore. Not too worried about explosions. Oh look, our health has already gone up a decent amount. Finish dissecting adrenal pump. <gasps> Dudes. We're we're in the late game. If if we have an adrenal pump CBM, we're in the late game. Like that is seriously one of the best CBMs in the game. I just need to make sure that we don't get over ambitious and then get just annihilated by something while we're weak. Just need to be careful. Oh man, you're making my torso bleed. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about, is that we gotta be a little careful. Because our torso is pretty badly hurt right now. Um, not worth getting more damage. Go ahead and get the coil gun out. Just let him get nice and close. Get that headshot. There we go. That wasn't so bad. And that is a flashe around, which I do feel kind of wasteful for using like this, but... It is what it is. Fine. See what other CBMs we can get. I think we could act. Ooh, there's a heavy duty cable. Oh, there's a zombie scientist, and I pulled them. What was I thinking? I'm like thinking about the shocker, and I don't even realize there's a scientist, and that we. That makes me feel bad. Like, for real. Our torso, we probably also need it fix up more, but we did actually also just apply a new bandage, so I think it's probably fine. Um, anti-glare, that's, yeah, pretty much worthless. There's that shocker, there's another shocker, I think it was this guy right up here, from what I remember, yep. If I remember correctly. We are very tired right now, which kind of makes sense, seeing how we've just been, like, downing anti- or we've been, like, Having all these surgeries done on us, you know? And we could also go back and recruit ourselves um, one of the beggars, I, I think. Maybe if we collected things. Yeah, there's just like power storage ones, which are kind of useful. Not like a ton. Yeah, that's just... Um... I don't know. We'll put that down. Oh, actually, hold on. I need to get stuff kind of full. Okay. Let's store things in here, then. I think we got space for that. Yep. And that, and that. And this. Okay, cool. I'm pretty happy with the, how things are lining up. Let's go and look for that bleach. And with... That amount of torso health, it's not as, as bad as it could be. I'll have the Jane out. I think we will melee unless it 
calls for us using the gun. We have it, it's easy enough to access and fine. Okay, that trailer was a bust. I think if we're gonna find chemicals, they'll probably be in a bathroom. But maybe they've got something in the kitchen. Definitely possible. What we will find is small cardboard boxes, which that one homeless dude wanted. And it was like an offensive stereotype, you know? Um, you can also dive in that dumpster like we just did there for a second. That's kind of weird. And then I pick up those nails because... Oh, let's have some wild apple. You know? Have some fun. Have some fu fun there, Nosh. So that the spam doesn't bother you so much. Think about all the alcohol that you just drank. And... Here, I'll take the bullet. Okay, this guy is one of the biters. One of the ones I don't want to be getting into melee with. Uh, there is... This is definitely the smartest thing. Just bolt drive him. Because the ammo is so easy to renew. Um, do not ignore. Let's get the coil gun out. If I can find it. There we go. Oh, and we didn't actually repair our gear, did we? But I do need to be a little careful with that. Uh, oh, we actually got blinded there. Well... I can't see with my infrared vision right now. That seems a little iffy to me. Okay, this guy should go down pretty easy. There we go. Just hitting this with that acid on the, the body parts that we really do not need getting hit by acid. Oh, there was one that we didn't take care of. Is this the one from up above? Is this, um... completely avoidable. No, it was not the one from up here. Well, that makes me feel not so uh, incompetent. I, I feel like these trailer parks are not going to have what we're looking for. Uh, there's uh, something just whomping up there. Hey you. He looks stuck. You're welcome. Uh, metal tongs. Glass jar I'll definitely take. Just because I know eventually Nosh is going to want to have his own uh, V8. Like the juice V8 uh, making industrial line. So. What happened here? Something killed a lot of zombies around here. Is it the ants? In either case, there's a lot of dead zombies around there. Um, I'm gonna lure that one back towards us, I think. Get the Jane out. Yeah, come a little closer there. And then I'm just actually going to come down this way. Oh, this is a library? There's a library here. Check the books. The transistor, we already have that. Uh, buh, buh, buh. There's um, some UPS stuff there. Or an MP3 player. And that might have some charge for us. If I look at our battery, I don't know why it like ha goes to, into battery saving mode. Ready to check the bathroom in this house. So I think this house is a bust. 
go ahead and run through here. Kind of go around like so. Because I don't want to fight a million zombies all at once. Gold zombies pretty fast. But we're faster, so we are fine. Uh, let's take that battery out and that out, and I'm going to eat that battery. Get that charge. Thank you. And we also have the block and its magazine right here now for us if we need to use it. Maybe I'll carry the Glock for now. We'll, we'll shoot that off as, as uh, we see fit. Yeah, I uh, I don't like looting in this physical state that we're in. And we've kind of cleared out the neighborhood already, so we might as well at least kind of check things out. That's at least my philosophy. And it's going to be pretty safe by this game's standards. You know? Okay, anything in here? Oh, okay. What is that book? Mechanical Mastery. We already have that, I think. I don't know why I didn't smash that window. It's like, not a big deal. I'm pretty sure this whole trailer park is a bust. And... I, mean, I feel like the lab is definitely gonna have bleach in it, but these houses are a safer bet. Okay, this house is not fully constructed. It's like a one that was partially being constructed. This is a trap house. Oh! That's what's killed so many zombies. It's a trap house. So we're going to mark that. We do not want to uh, get involved with that. There's a number of houses here. The Veteran of Foreign Wars. That's an interesting building. I've not seen that type before. I'm feeling like I should probably fall back right now. There's a number of pigs right there. Get some pig meat. Get some bacon. Yeah, I think... Southwest and below, I'm hearing stuff. I'm thinking we hang back a little bit. Get that adrenal PBM installed. Have our friend heal up some more. Maybe go down to where we've already cleared out a little bit. And I feel like this na this part of the neighborhood we could have cleared out more. Actually, I th nah, we're not going to do that. That's That would be cowardly of us. The torso is still healing. I think we're just going to kind of work around, we're going to nibble around the outside of the city. We're not really going to be fighting. We're going to make sure that our back is always clear. But I wanted to do a little bit more looting. I do think that there's a uh, bleach in here somewhere. We can find it. Um, I do not have a flashlight on us though. That's gonna make this kind of annoying. Yeah, there's a chance of us finding some stuff in here, but it's pretty slim. Yeah. Have a bust. There can be, I think, chemicals in this back area a little, a little bit sometimes. And it's a great source of um, rags and wood. Like it actually is very good for that. Drive under atomic attack. I feel like that should be a useful book. I've never heard it before. But I think it's gonna be pretty useless. Uh. Ethereal, you guys are nasty. I'm gonna get this pistol out. And reload it. Because I don't like the thought of getting into melee with you right now. Not today. Uh, 
Go ahead and run a little bit. The gun malfunctioned two times in a row there. It seems to be pretty fouled. Must be an old one. There we go. Okay, he is smashed. Um, I don't think we checked out the whole house, but I am a little nervous now that the neighborhood's coming. Uh, let's just check that out really quick. Yeah. The whole neighborhood's coming now. Close that door. And we'll close that door. And that place has been looted. It is official. Uh, let's just kind of leave. And I think we might want to make a run for the car right now. I don't think I want to get into a fight with a group that size. Uh, we got our joint servos on. Yeah, I think we'll probably shoot the feral runner. And then just dip. And we're... We don't need to fight them is all I'm saying. No real point in it. Do we just shoot you while we are... Um, disoriented? Okay, that is all that I'm looking to do. Let's get out of here. Ask it at all. Okay, we are in the car. We are safe. See you later, buddy. I think we're gonna go back to the doctor's office. We had it pretty well cleared out down there. You know? Not to mention we had the ability to install CBMs, and I've got one that I really want to install. And there's probably bleach in the houses nearby. If not, there's definitely got to be some in the lab right there. But we got we got a lot of options, essentially, is all I'm saying. So uh, I think we'll end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.